So when you go on holidays, generally you're a lot more relaxed, right? And then you are on your day-to-day -day life. And the problem, there's a problem associated with that. Why aren't you relaxed in your day-to-day -day life? So often what happens is we go on a holiday, meet up with somebody, have great sex with them, take them home, and then realise they're not someone you want to live with, <laughs> right? And the reason why that is is because we were just connecting on a physical level. We weren't connecting on a soul level, right? And we were connecting partially on a soul level because we were relaxed. And the physiological response was, is a lot more free, there's a lot more freedom in it when we're relaxed. But we, weren't, we were also ignoring all the other soul connections. You know, all the other soul connections of what type, of what character is this person, and all those things are all just ignored. We just abandon all that for the sake of the sex act. So we've got to be very careful about doing that too, because in the end, if sex doesn't incorporate love, then already there's a law of God being broken. So that's something to be aware of in your own in your own life. So many of you will want to have sex because you want to be, you know, hugged, or you want to be touched, or you you know, but you know you don't love the person, but but that's the feeling you want. You feel like that feeling becomes unbearable after a while, particularly if you haven't had sex maybe for three months or six months or so, and and particularly if you're in a relationship and you haven't had sex with the person you're in a relationship with for that period of time. You f it feels so unbearable that in the end that you just feel like you've got to have it. But in reality, what you need to do is feel the unbearable emotion. And that's what we often avoid. And it's the unbearable emotion, once it's released, that will actually help us with our sex life in the future. Thanks, Chris. I know that my earlier years I was driven a lot by that neediness of with the emotion behind me of wanting to have sex to have be loved. Now I'm kind of confused with why I even have the desire to want sex and I feel um, am I being influenced by spirit now? I'm a bit confused since I've been on this path about sexuality in where my desire is coming from. Is it from me? Or am I being driven by spirit, another spirit? Well, the truth is, whether we're dream, driven by spirit or the desires from ourselves, we still need to recognise it and feel it anyway. So it doesn't really matter whether a spirit's influencing me or not. What I need to do is feel my own emotion. So what are my own emotions about sex? What am I actually feeling? Why do I feel a need to do it? Now, generally, it comes from a, something that's unhealed within us, in terms of, like, if, if we have a desire to have sex without are being in a loving relationship, then obviously there is something unhealed within us that causes us to want to do that. I'm, I'm married, I'm not, it's not like I'm desiring another. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. You can be in a marriage, but it doesn't mean you're in a loving relationship. No. <laughs> and you can also be in a marriage and, and feel love, but have sexual injuries that prevent you from actually opening up to your partner. So issues of vulnerability and other issues like that that don't allow you to open up. So on the divine path, what happens, you, you'll go through and you'll come up to an emotion, like the emotion might be, I'm enraged with men for some unknown reason. You don't might even know why, but you just feel this terrible rage with men. When you dig into it and you let yourself experience the rage and come under the sadness, you might realise that it's actually to do with how dad treated you when you were little. Or you might realise that it's how women get treated. So it's a general women thing, how women have been treated by men in the past. That rage, when that grief is felt and released, it'll change your sex life with your partner if your partner's a male. It'll just change your, straight away. You'll feel totally different towards the person. And this is why everything needs to be dealt with emotionally. Mm. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Um, I'm a 